Hi kindergarten, it's Miss Sarcone. We are on day two for our read aloud. Um, so make sure that you have your packet out um, and that your day two questions are ready because I will be asking them as I read. All right. So Zin 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 a Violin by Lloyd Moss, illustrated by Marjorie Priceman. With mournful moan and silken tone, itself alone comes one trombone. Gliding, sliding, high notes go low. One trombone is playing solo. Next, a trumpet comes along and sings and stings its swinging song. It joins trombone no more alone, and one and two o. -oh, they're a duo. So who joins the trombone player? And now how many musicians are there? Fine French horn, its valves all oiled. Bright and brassy loops all coiled. Golden yellow joins its fellows. Two, now three -o. What a trio. So what do the words bright, brassy, and golden yellow tell us about? Now a mellow friend, the cello, neck extended, bows a hello. End pin set upon the floor, it makes up a quartet. That's four. And soaring high and moving in, with zin, 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 a violin, stroking strings that come alive, now quintet. Let's count them. Five. So what's a violin? And, and what are the words zin, zin, zin supposed to sound like? Flute that sends our soul a shiver. Flute that slender silver sliver. A place among the set it picks to make a young sextet. That's six. So what do the words tell you? about a flute. With steely keys that softly click, its breezy notes so darkly slick, a sleek black woody clarinet, it's number seven, now septet. Gleeful bleeding, sobbing, pleading, through its throbbing double reading, Oboe, please don't hesitate. Come, make it an octet. That's eight. That lazy clown, the big bassoon, he plays low down, we're laughing soon. Here, grumpy, get your place in line and give us a nonet. That's nine. The harp descends with angels' wings, a heaven's blend through magic strings. And when it joins the others, then behold, a chamber group of ten. So what happens when the harp joins the other instruments? And then how many, how many musicians are there? The orchestra comes in the hall. There on the stage we see them all, the cello, harp, and clarinet, the trumpet whom we've also met, the oboe, flute, and big bassoon, all eager to get started soon. Trombone, French horn, and violin, all poised and ready, now begin. Wait a minute. This group is together on stage. What do we think is going to happen now? The strings all soar. The reeds implore. The brasses roar with notes galore. It's music that we all adore. It's what we go to concerts for. The minutes fly. The music ends. And so, goodbye to our new friends. 
But when they've bowed and left the floor, if we clap loud and shout, Encore! They may come back and play once more. So if an audience yells, Encore, what, is, what does that mean? How do you think that the audience is feeling at the concert? And that would give us great delight before we say a late good night.